Mistake after mistake. Goals galore at Goodison Park. Everton 5, Tottenham Hotspur 4. Spurs crash out of the FA Cup. Welcome back to another video. I hope you're all keeping safe and well. So the final whistle has just gone. Everton 5, Tottenham Hotspur 4. I'm thoroughly disappointed, I must say. Um, the 30-year-plus wait for uh, Tottenham to win the FA Cup now continues. We won't be winning it this year. We are out. Everton's five goals. I tell you what, the defensive, uh, the defensive display from Tottenham tonight was just... Awful. It really was. Mistake after mistake after mistake. I know a lot of neutral fans will say what a game it was. Um, you know, what a fantastic advert for the FA Cup. Absolutely. But being a Tottenham Hotspur fan, I tell you what, my heart was racing through most of that game. Um, you know, some of our attacking players tonight I thought were excellent. You know, we, we were on the front foot. We played some super attacking football at times. Um, in the first half, it, it looked like we were cruising and then we conceded three goals, you know, in quick succession. And um, frustrating. It really, really is. Um, defensively, we are so poor. Defensively, so many mistakes that we give away. And to concede five goals in an FA Cup game like this against Everton is just unforgivable. Um, you know, some of our defensive mistakes are just absolutely um, awful. And it just shouldn't be happening. It's again and again and again. And when you think that Jose Mourinho now has been in charge for 14 months, surely he has to improve this defence going forward because it worries me now. I know the defence might be uh, slightly different on uh, on Saturday. Eric Dyer will probably come in uh, for the Manchester City game. But you're thinking defensively, if we play like that on Saturday against a very, very inform and very good uh, Manchester City side, we're going to be in huge, huge trouble. Um, however... I thought that Tottenham coming back into the game, we showed real character. Eric Lamella's goal was very, very important to Tottenham. Um, getting that goal just before the half-time whistle. Um, going in 3-2, you, you felt like Tottenham had a chance. You felt like we were still in it. Um, Davinson Sanchez then got his second goal of the game. Um, weirdly, he's only ever scored three goals for Tottenham and two uh, were from tonight. Um, Richarlison then put Everton back into the lead in the 68th minute. And then Harry Kane, you know, come off the bench and he scores again for Tottenham Hotspur. And that's who I feel really sorry for. P players like Hun Min Son, uh, what a cross from him. Players like Hun Min Son and Harry Kane, um, you know, to be getting these sorts of results going out of the FA Cup. You know, these are the competitions that Tottenham Hotspur should be in the final of this year. These are the competitions that we should be winning. These are the trophies and the medals that all of our players should be having on their mantelpiece, talking about in years to come. Um, and again, another year is going to pass without Tottenham Hotspur winning the FA Cup. I bang on about trophies on this channel every single day, more or less. Um, but 30 years and counting now uh, um, you know, for Tottenham to win the FA Cup. It's just a mad, mad record. I just cannot believe it. You know, 1991, since we last won the FA Cup, it's just unbelievable. Um, and then Bernard, in extra time, got Everton's fifth. And uh, I must say that the ex-Spurs man, Sigurdsson, absolutely superb tonight. Absolutely superb. He was at the heart of everything. Um, I think he got man of the match as well. And, uh, you know, we were beaten. Beaten 5-4 uh, by Everton at Goodison Park. Um, you know, as I say, a fantastic game for the neutral. I thought we were very, very good going forward. And uh, I must say, um, our attacking style tonight I thought was superb. And as I say, half of the team have been let down by the other half of the team by our defensive display and constant errors every single week this is becoming. And interestingly, um, the Tottenham Hotspur defence... Um, we've got the second best defensive record in the Premier League, even though we defend at times so poorly. It's so frustrating because you know that in our squad and in our starting eleven, we have so much quality there and we have so much potential and we should be getting, you know, progressing in this competition. It's just so frustrating. I absolutely hate it. I really, really do uh, when we go out of a cup because I think that we should have won that game tonight, you know, when you score four goals away from home at a Premier League side anyway, you should be winning that game. 
regardless. You, you should be winning that game. No problem whatsoever. Scoring four goals away from home. The the, the players like Harry Kane and Hunmin Son must be so frustrated um, by some of their teammates, you know, making these defensive errors time and time again. And I must say, Hugo Lloris made a, a fantastic save in the first half, but everything after that, every single shot, even from acute angles, um, was go were going in. And uh, it's frustrating to see. It really, really is. And I'm gutted, absolutely gutted. As I say, 30 years and counting now without an FA Cup. Please do put your thoughts in the comments section below. Yes, it was an entertaining game. I know some people are going to probably um, say, why are you being so down? Why are you being so negative about it? Um, you know, it's the only the FA Cup. You know, we need to win competitions like this. We really, really do. And uh, anyway, please do put your thoughts in the comments section below. I'll see you on another video. It will be tomorrow. I won't be uploading any more tonight. I don't think my heart can take it. Anyway, um, I'll see you on the next video tomorrow. Put your comments in the comment section below and I'll see you soon. Come on, you Spurs.